Hi guys, hope everyone is doing well. Um, I am going to do the work together 10.2. Everyone say hi to Chase. Chase, say hi to everyone. Hello. Okay, so we're going to do the um, 10.2 work together, which is posting from the sales journal to the subsidiary ledger and the general ledger. So it's very similar to how we did the, um, the purchases journal. So the first step is going to be to do all of our totals. So there's 30 days in September. So 30, we're gonna write the word totals. And then we're going to add up all of our accounts receivables. So 1696 plus 680 plus 2,100, sorry, 2,713.60 plus 18.49 equals, all right, so we have um, 6,938, 6,938 and 60 cents. Our next, <laughs> our next, uh, column is 1600 plus yeah, 680. <laughs> All right, <laughs> 2560 plus 1849 plus 6689, 6689. And then our last column taxes, we just have 96 plus. 153.60 and that equals 249.60. So 249.60. What we're going to do now is prove the sales journal and that is making sure that our debits and our credits equal. So we have our debits. So accounts receivable is a debit. So that's $6,000. $938.60. And then we're just going to bring that down here. $6,938.60. And then we're going to add our credits. So we have sales, $6,689. And we have our sales tax, stop, please, $249.60. So we have to add up our two credits. So that is going to be 249.60 and 200 plus $6,689. And that's going to give us the same total here, $6,938.60. So now our debits and our credits match. Our next step is to post from the sales journal to the accounts receivable ledger. So we have this accounts receivable column and it's a debit. So what we're doing is we're going down to the accounts receivable ledger and we're posting to those individual um, customer pages. So the first is Lenny Stanford. So on the second from its sales journal page nine, so S9, we are debiting and we're taking the accounts receivable debit amount, $1,696 debit and a debit need add. So $2,189.36 plus $1,696 equals $3,885. So $3,885. And then we put 110 in the post reference of the sales journal. Next, we have Washington City Schools. So, again, we are putting the date. This is the sixth from S9, sales journal page nine, debiting 680, uh, debit and debit mean we add. So, we have $1,509.45 plus six eighty equals $2,189.45. So two one eight nine forty five. Let me double check to make that make sure that's right. Okay. 
and then we put 130 back in the post reference. Next, we have Venice Cafe. So Venice Cafe on the 7th from page S9, debiting 2,700. $13.60, debit and a debit we add. So I'll actually angle this so I can see my calculator while I'm doing this. All right, so it's $2,100, scratch that, 2000 $713.60 plus the $390.34 equals $3,103.94. And then I'll put customer number, again, that comes from right here, 120, back up at the top. And then lastly, we have Washington City Schools again on the 15th from Sales Journal, page 9. Um, we're debiting $1,849. We're adding it with our previous balance, debit and a debit we add. So it's $2,189.45 plus $1,849 equals $4,030. $4,030. And 45 cents, and we'll put the 130 back here at the top. So now we've posted everything from the sales journal to the accounts receivable ledger. That way, we can have a page for each one of our customers and know exactly how much they owe us at any given time. Our last step now is to post the totals. So we're going to take each special column total and post that to the general ledger, just like we did with the purchases journal um, and the cash payments journal in chapter nine. So um, again, we're doing it very similar to you know, how we did in chapter four when we just learned to post. So accounts receivable, um, and we're going to do the last day of the month. So on the 30th from S9, uh, we're going to take our total accounts receivable is a debit of $6,930.60. We're going to add that with our previous. Um, so we have $4,089.15 plus $6,938.60 equals $11,027.75. Then we'll put the post reference underneath the total at the top. So it's 1130, and it will automatically put it in parentheses for us. Next, we have um, sales. So we have sales, and that's a credit. So on the 30th from page S9, um, the credit amount here is $6,689. Credit and a credit mean that we are going to add. So we have $185,000. $1,196.31 plus $6,689. That gives us a new total of $191,885.31. And then we'll put 4110 back up at the top. Underneath our total, it will automatically be put in parentheses for us. Um, and lastly, we have sales tax payable. So on the 30th, from page S9, um, sales tax payable is credited. Um, so that total is $249.60.
credit and the credit we add. So $2,484.18 plus $249.60 equals $2,733.78. And we'll put our total 2120 back underneath our total in parentheses. So now we've posted um, individually to each of our ledger pages, but also the column totals in the general ledger. So it actually saves on some of our posting just because we don't have to post individually to sales credit, sales tax payable, accounts payable. We can just individually post to our accounts receivable ledger um, as we go. And then at the end of the month, you can post your total. So it cuts down on posting. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. And I hope you are all doing well.